As Uganda joins the world to mark World Wildlife Day on the 3rd of March 2022 at the Uganda Wildlife Education Conservation Center, there is a growing threat on the national symbol. Standing on one leg, a symbol of Uganda's moving forward, the latest setback reveals moving backward. The crested crane as a national emblem holds deep significance to the country, occupying a position on the national flag and the coat of arms. Its killing raises concern. The killing has been identified in a special Rwengo district. The ministry says a response is ongoing. The crane has developed a problem in Rwengo and they are killing the crested crane and we have got to go there and cut out a campaign so that people can appreciate, respect and love, after all, the crested crane, which is our national symbol. According to the Wildlife Act of 2019, those guilty of killing a crested crane face life imprisonment or pay a fine of 2 billion shillings or both. On the upside, however, there is an increase in species of buffaloes from 25,000 to 44,000. Act 2019 accords it special protection. And if you kill it, you are supposed to be subjected to, of course, courts of uh, procedures under the courts of law. And the punishment could be life imprisonment or 20 billion. Or both. In 1983 and 2021, buffaloes have increased from a mere 25,000, and today we have 44,163 buffaloes. From 25,000 to 44,000, because of stability and the environment created for the buffaloes to multiply. The country also poses good record on biodiversity and hosts 53.9% of the world remaining gorillas. Uganda hosts 53.9 of the world's recorded of the world's remaining population of mountain gorillas, 53.9. And let this debate really stop. Whether the gorillas are in Uganda or Rwanda, the gorillas are in Uganda. Simon Chris Makanga, CTV, PM Edition.